Hey guys, Mark here. Welcome to the channel. Rightio, we had a box with a new RC car in it, so I decided to do something a little different for this unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, now that we got it out of the box, this is the bit where I'll you know, tell you a little bit about it. Uh, like it's got stainless steel link uh, suspension linkages and everything underneath. All stainless steel uh, ball mounts, all that kind of stuff. Um, what I do like about it, uh, I do like the lights on it. They're pretty cool. Um, except what I don't like is the brand new light up here. It, out of the box, it's got like a little dead spot over here and it kind of flickers a little bit. Um, so that's a little bit disappointing out of the box. Um, one thing I am impressed with is the paint job. You can't really tell in other unboxings and other um, things. So I'll try and give you a bit of a better look at the detail there. It's actually pretty good, this paint job. So that's pretty impressive. Um, other unboxings I'd watched all indicated, well, some of them that I'd seen, that it had an EC5 connector in it. So when I bought it, I was under the impression it was going to have an EC5, which I had plenty of connections with Deans and all that sort of stuff and adapters. When I got it, I found out it was an IC3. So uh, if you're going to purchase one, double check that. Um, but uh, one thing does impress me too is I thought the Ecto had some pretty crazy articulation because it can quite hum comfortably handle two tyres. But uh, check this out. This thing can quite comfortably handle three tyres and it's still got its back wheel on the ground. That's pretty ridiculous. But anyway, enough of me waffling on, you know, after we've dragged it out of the box and done a little bit of spinny crap and, you know, a couple of close-ups and rah, rah. Now what you all want to see, let's take it straight to the test course. Let's go guys. I've set up some lights outside because it's pitch black out there. So I've set up some festoon lighting on some uh, posts, etc. So uh, let's go out there and have some fun. All the meadows are struggling.
every car can do this climb coming up, but not one of them can do it with nidos. So let's see how this goes. I'm not expecting it to be able to do it without putting on better tyres. Oh yes, we've finally done it. Well, I think that pretty much wraps it up for tonight, guys. I think we just need to come back in the daylight and give this a really good run. Peace out, guys. See you in the next one.